This is Jody's phone. This story is about a young boy who rescues an orphaned fawn. One day, Jody's father Benny was bitten by a snake. With Jody's help, he killed a doe and used its liver to remove the poison from his body. Jody was happy that his father's life had been saved, but he felt sorry for the fawn of the doe they had killed. He wanted to feed the fawn his share of milk and take care of him. He requested his father to allow him to bring the fawn home. Jody's father agreed that it was the right thing to do. Reluctantly, Jody's mother gave her consent. Penny's doctor agreed that it would not be right to leave the fawn to starve. Jody rode with Millwheel, a horseman, on his horse to look for the fawn. Jody knew that it was a male fawn because its spots were arranged in a line. Penny had told Jody that a doe fawn spots are scattered. Jody did not want Millwheel to see his disappointment if he did not find the fawn or his joy should he find him. He asked Millwheel to leave him in the thick shrub and return home. He convinced Millwheel that he could take care of himself. Jody said he would use the pine tree to keep track of where he was. After Millwheel left, Jody moved around the area looking for the fawn. He saw a group of buzzards feeding on the remains of the doe. He hoped to find the fawn somewhere around the dead doe. As he looked around, he noticed the fawn standing in front of him. He cautiously crawled to the fawn and put his arms around him. Then, he picked up the soft-skinned fawn in his arms and began walking towards home. He knew that if a fawn was carried in someone's arms, it would begin following the person. A couple of times during the journey back home, Jody had the fawn walk behind him. The rest of the time, he carried the fawn in his arms. At home, Jody proudly showed his father the fawn. Then he took the fawn to the kitchen and fed him milk. The fawn hungrily drank all the milk. <laughs>